You gotta admit it, the keyboard market has been on fire lately. There are more options at cheaper prices than ever before. There has never been a better time to buy a keyboard than right now. With all these options out on the market, it does make finding the best of the best a little harder. Well, that's what I'm here for. If you're looking for a keyboard right now, InStock Customs are where all the action is at. And by InStock Customs, I mean keyboards you can buy online, they ship to your door, and you gotta build it yourself, which may sound scary, but trust me, it's where the fun is at. You get to mod it in the exact way you like, pick the parts that you want, switches and keycaps, but you also need to buy these things, so make sure you budget accordingly, because the price does go up. Switches and keycaps are expensive. We'll be looking at pre-built options later on in the video, but for now, let's go over a few great options at different sizes. For the infamous 65% keyboard size, you got quite a few banger options. The KBD67 Lite is a personal favorite I would recommend. It's super affordable. The kit is only $110. It's been out for a while now. It just entered group by round four, so all the kinks have been worked out in production. The case is made of plastic. It's like super lightweight, but for this price, it is a solid, solid typing experience. Super easy to build. Just don't expect anything too fancy. It doesn't have like a a weight or a knob or anything. It's got a gasket mount design, screw in stabs, it's hot swap. You can put in that silicone dampener. It makes it sound really awesome. Love it. Love it. Sounds really good. There is also the Zoom 65 by Mellatrix. It's a new option lately. It's really beautiful. This is the Olivia edition. It comes in different case colors. It's got different backplate options. It has all the features, but it's made from aluminum. And guess what? It's got a knob. So you'll be paying more, but if you want something a little bit fancier, the extra cost is worth it. You can explore different build paths. It comes with different foams. You can choose what you want to put in here. So it could be poppy or thocky or marbly or creamy or stiff or flexible. It's really up to you. I really enjoyed building this. There's such a great build guide online and the Olivia edition comes with everything you see here. Keycaps and switches and stabilizers included. The essential edition is more of a kit. It's bare bones, but it's got more color options and it can be wireless too. It's just a lot of cool stuff happening here. And this is only $180 for everything. Everything you see here. It's nice. There's also the QK65 by QWERTY Keys. This thing is all the hype lately because it sounds a lot like a Mr. Suit. It's really awesome. It's really fancy. It's more expensive. I think it's 180 for the kit itself. So you do have to budget money for switches, keycaps, and stabilizers. But it's got a lot of plate options. It's gasket mount, different types of gasket mounts. It's really worth spending a little extra. The biggest difference between this and the other one is this one's a little bit louder. It's got a louder sound stage, which personally I don't like because I, I don't like loud noises. But if you do like that, that really marbly poppy sound, this can achieve it. But I did build this with all the foam. So if I took some of those out, maybe it wouldn't sound so freaking loud. And it's got a mirror. It's got a really fancy mirror. It's smudged up right now. So excuse it, but it looks really nice and it's chonky like a really heavy boy of a keyboard. You can build it however you want. And it's just, it's a really aesthetic keyboard. It looks great. It's a little bit more expensive. They're gonna try and make it, you know, more available, but it's, it's affordable-ish and it's gonna be on sale pretty soon. Also, it doesn't have a knob. There's no knob. Ah. For 75%, let's go over the most common options. First up, We've got the Keychron Q1. This is it right out of the box, no mods or anything. It's an absolute powerhouse of a keyboard. It's like the most purchased keyboard on the entire list, basically. And it checks all the boxes, gasket mount, screw and stabs, aluminum case, hot swap sockets. Potentially, you know, if you want a knob, it's got a knob version. The only downside here is the sound of it is quite limited. And when you get it out of the box, it could be a little, a little pingy. Uh, I believe the new version, they fixed that, but if they haven't, then there are a bunch of mods online on how to build it in a way where it doesn't do that. That's the best thing about something like this is that everyone's modded it, got their keyboard to sound good. You can just copy them, apply it to your board and get similar results. It is really awesome. Jake is using this full time on his desk cause he just loves the 75% of it. You can use it on Windows and Mac too. It comes with keycaps, it comes with switches, everything. 
pre-lubed. But you have the option to get it bare bones as well for a little bit cheaper. Again, everything I talk about will be linked down below in the description so you can check up all the prices of them. I'm pretty sure everything here is under $300. There's only one thing that's like expensive. So only downside to that board is it's a little bit muted. It has a clacky sound but i'm sure you can make it thocky if you do the right mods the gmmk pro is a similar option to the q1 and is often compared to it although it is slightly more expensive it does come with a lot of features like a knob more robust software and some extra rgb along the sides for you gamers out there this thing rgb is pretty intense it has the same issue though it has a muted sound even more so than the q1 Any switches I put into it sound pretty similar. The GMK Pro comes in a pre-built version, which is right here. It also comes with a wrist rest, pre loops switches, screw and stabs, everything, the whole shebang. I've been using this for a while. All right, now moving on to TKL, which is 10 kilos, which has been making a resurgence lately. It's super trendy nowadays. It's nice having bigger keyboards that are more readily available. I love it. Not everyone's ready to ditch those F keys or the nav cluster or the arrow keys or any of those things. And you know, it's aesthetic. So this is the Freebird TKL by Keeps For All. It's a great build at a decent price. I believe the kit is 170. And the plan is for them to eventually sell this in stock, which is awesome. The keyboard has a nice docky sound profile and can be tweaked based on the mods you do. It's also an O-ring mount or a top mount. Overall, I'm a big fan of the keyboard. The prototype they sent me was a little bit scuffed. It didn't have the O-ring or the screws, uh, but you know, they sent it to me eventually and it sounds great and feels great after that. The NK87 by Novel Keys is a different option. It comes in the entry edition or the aluminum edition. So one is like a lot more expensive than the other, but it has a lot of the great features as well. And it looks awesome. It sounds great. I don't like it as much as the Freebird, but the NK87 is more readily available. And when it comes to TKLs, the real killer here is a Keychron KA Pro. You can get the bare bones kit for only $79, which is an absolute steal. It also has a lot of the features like gasket, like prelude switches, like screw and stabilizers, hot swap, foam. It's got everything fancy. And I believe it's also wireless. So it's got Bluetooth too, which is insane. So you can buy this on their website at like any time because Keychron has crazy amounts of stock. It's not available on Amazon yet if you primarily shop on Amazon, but eventually it seems like they would do that. I'm impressed. It's even got PBT keycaps. For a little bit more, you can get the fully built option, but the kit, the bare bones is only $79. That's crazy. And if you need a full size in stock custom, well, good luck. These are my favorite in stock customs and I'll link a few other alternatives in the description below in case they are sold out, which would be really awkward. Now onto pre-built keyboards. These are like totally classic. They used to be the thing. They come with normal mounting systems, <clears throat> tray mount, plate mounted stamps, and are in general nothing hard to write home about. However, nowadays there are some really good options and they're really affordable too. It's a great way to enter the hobby, pick up something cheap, take it out of the box, use it right away, mod it, upgrade it if you want to. For most people, pre-built is good enough to be end game unless you're a special kind of person then you never have any end games i personally love tinkering with pre-built keyboards and i usually recommend them to people because they're so easy they're always available you don't need to shop for things here and there so for the ultra budget i recommend the k552 from red dragon it's around 20 to 35 dollars it does have a wire this one is just very modded very upgraded by me and it sounds very awesome best thing about this okay 35 dollars and you get hot swaps switches although they don't fit most switches but they'll fit and most things from Akko also from Gazoo so you have to be careful on the switches the hot swap sockets are smaller than like cherry switches but you can mod this thing out of this world and it'll sound amazing add a lot of foam into it you know spray paint it a nice color no you don't have to do any of that but yeah I'm extra Right, going up in price, 
we have the three special boys. The key card on C1, $50. The Vistles, $80, I think, oh, $55. And the LTC Nimble Back, also $55. A lot of cool options here. I think these two are wireless. They're all hot swap. They all have plate mounted stabilizers, and they all have feet. Yeah, this one's got wireless. I've modded them all, so they look a little bit crazy, <laughs> but they're all great options at different sizes, and they're so solid. I highly recommend it if you want to upgrade something and just play around with it. I've been talking about these three keyboards for a long time. They all have like their own videos that they're featured in. The quiet keyboard, the thoughty keyboard, the something something. I don't remember, but they're all great. They're not gonna break the bank. They sound great out of the box, but they sound even better when they're modded. They're super sweet, best bang for buck in features and quality. They're great. But for a slightly nicer keyboard, the GMMK V2s are what I would recommend. They're fully assembled. They have five pin pre-lube hot swap switches, case with foam. Nice. And they're just very solid. They're very nice. They come with clip-on stabilizers, but you could add on screw-ins. The PCB is super compatible with that. Perfect for modding. They're pre-lubed. And they come in pink or white or black, you know, different colors, but these are more fun. Fun is great. There's a compact 65%. It's got feet on the back, USB-C, and there's the big boy, chunky chunky, 96% for those of you that need the number pad, but don't have the desk space for it. For another really high quality pre-built, I would recommend the iQuinix keyboards, the L80, A80, OG80. They're all wireless. They got PVD keycaps, even got their own special pretty ones, hot swap sockets. They're wireless. They have a dongle or Bluetooth. It's just really awesome. They're great. I the box probably some of the best keyboards that i've ever used out of the box that's really saying something but with many pre-built keyboards there are so many options so many brands it's just impossible to cover them all and i wish i could but i can't so I'll make sure to link everything down below if you're interested in checking anything out. This video is sponsored by Micro Center, the one-stop shop for everything tech. Instead of shopping online and waiting, go to one of Micro Center's 25 nationwide stores to get your tech right now. That includes keyboard building supplies like lube, keycaps, switches, tools, and more. With experts in store that will talk you through the whole process. Micro Center is also my go-to place for buying anything related related to PCs. Use their online PC builder to get compatible and in-stock parts, and then go pick it up the same day. Micro Center's got a special deal for you. New customers can get a completely free Red Dragon gaming mouse, keyboard, and oversized mousepad bundle. Click on the link below to claim your free coupon to claim it in stores right now. Good luck shopping for your next keyboard, because I know you will. You love shopping. We all do.